Play with the best at ufifa.com to get a discount on all your FIFA points and coins. Use the code TVM at checkout. The link is in the description. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome back to Team of the Week Predictions Week 45. Things are starting to improve slightly. We're going to kick things off though with a 72 rated goalkeeper, Julian. He made five saves and kept a clean sheet in a 1-0 win. Then moving on to Gavin Holohan, probably saying that wrong, but he got himself a hat-trick in a 4-1 win for Galway. Up next is Daniel Royer. He got three goals, one assist and one Man of the Match award across two games in just three days for New York Red Bulls. Zhao Plata. A lot of you may know him for being one of, if not the shortest player in FIFA at just 5 foot 1. He got two goals and picked up a Man of the Match award in a 4-1 win. By way of leaving a comment, how many of you are going to use this guy if he gets an inform? This doesn't happen a lot. In fact, it may never have happened. Jonathan has currently got an inform in Team of the Week 44. Well, he's just scored himself a hat trick, meaning that it would be very difficult for EA not to give him a second inform at two weeks running. Henry or Henri Rojas, not quite sure how to say that. He got himself a goal, one assist in a 3-1 win. It would be a position change as well from a left mid to a centre mid. Uh, not that I'm going to use him, but I think that's a pretty decent position change considering he has zero pace. A very difficult player to find on a lot of websites. Uh, Footbin, Footwiz, none of them really want to show you. You have to search the entire name. Angelo Rodriguez, he got a hat-trick and also picked up Man of the Match in a 3-0 win. Now into the starting 11 and we start with a gold goalkeeper for the first time in a long time. Brad Guzan, a player that a lot of people will recognise for his days in the Premier League. Five saves and he kept a clean sheet in a man of the match performance in a 1-0 win. Continuing the gold trend is a player that I'll always have a soft spot for, that's Andreas Grankvist. He was the first player that I got in FIFA 14 in my starter pack and I used him for about 50 games. I have no idea why because he was slow as hell. He made three key tackles and kept a clean sheet in a 2-0 win and I for one probably won't use it. But still, nice to have a gold in there. Now who remembers this guy? Jonas Olsen, former West Brom defender, now playing back at home in the Swedish league, got two goals and picked up a Man of the Match award, also kept a clean sheet in a 3-0 win. Back down to earth with a crunch, we have Sergei Breizgolov. I'm not quite sure if I'm saying that right, let's be honest, I'm probably not. One goal and a clean sheet in a 1-0 win. Sticking with the Russian league centre-backs, Solomon Kvekvelia, probably again, Butchering that name, he got himself a goal, picked up a Man of the Match award and also kept a clean sheet in a 1-0 win. Next up is Lee Jai Sung, not to be confused with Lee Jai Sung. Yep, there's two of them, I know it's crazy, in the same club as well. This would be a central 74 rated card. He managed to get himself a goal, put in a good performance in a 3-1 win and keep his side at the top of the league. Now you're not going to believe this, but I have five, count them, five goal players in a row here. Yimmy Kara, probably butchering that again, he got two goals and one assist in a 3-0 win and that pace, oh that pace. I believe newly transferred Edgar Mendes, don't quote me on that but I believe he is, but again 88 pace on a left forward, that is pretty decent. He got two goals in a 2-0 win and it would be a position change incidentally from the right side to the left side. I'm not quite sure what foot he is, let's pray he's right footed. A lot of people may recognise this next guy, Sebastian Driussi. He got two goals and a man of the match in a 2-1 win for Zenit. You'll recognise him because he has a team of the season for River Plate. He's recently transferred to Zenit and already made an impact. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be a better car than the team of the season, but it's in a different league, so you might want to pick it up for those links. Sticking with players who currently have Team of the Season cards, Damjanovic unfortunately already has one, but it's going to be pretty hard for EA to deny him. He got himself a hat-trick and picked up a Man of the Match award in a 5-1 win, but I've saved the best till last. Enna Valencia, the former Everton frontman of course, now playing in the Mexican League for Tigres, upside my buddy Andre Piaginac. He got himself a hat-trick on his full league debut for Tigres in a 5-0 win. I'm actually really looking forward to this card, probably the only one in the full team of the week that I'm looking forward to using. Really nice pace, really nice shooting, decent dribbling, yes please. 
And that will do it for Team of the Week 45 predictions. I've probably missed someone out, as I always do, but hopefully I've got it spot on. Leagues starting to ramp up now, so hopefully within the next couple of weeks we could see some real big names come back into Team of the Week predictions. And of course, midway through August, we're going to get full Premier League, La Liga and everything back in full swing. Who's excited? I know I am. If you are, smack the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until the next time, lads, goodbye.